it stuff thanks for watching today's video i'm doing my first update to the graveyard project pan this was created by emily from emily and max and i will leave her linked in the description box below this is a project based off of two different types of makeup products the first is collecting cobwebs which are products that have just been sitting in your collection not getting any use and literally collecting cobwebs. <laughs> the second is resurrection products. These are products that have been in your panning projects or you've been working on before and you either didn't hit your goal or you just want to bring them out and work on again. This is a rolling style project and I will link Emily's intro video down below if you want any more information. We do updates every other month and this ends on Halloween. But I know some people are updating every single month. So just follow the hashtag and you'll find a ton of videos to watch. I have a mixture of resurrection and collecting cobwebs products, but I am rolling two more items in this update. So let's get started. Let's talk about my resurrection products. And the first item was my Mary Luminizer highlighter from The Balm. This is just a little mini and I did work on this in a project before. My goal was to hit pan. This is what it was looking like when I rolled it in and my goal is to finish this item. This was my main highlighter that I worked on the last couple of months so I did get quite a bit of use on it. I used it 43 times and this is what it's looking like now. I definitely expanded the pan. I don't remember if I had a side pan when I rolled this in, but there is quite a bit of side pan in there. And I know for a fact that I will finish this before next update, especially because it'll be two months from now. The other item that I resurrected to work on again was the middle blush in my Milani Rose Blush Trio palette. I worked on this last year in a project. And again, my goal for that project was just to hit pan. And I rolled it into graveyard to finish it. This is what it was looking like when I rolled it in. Definitely had a really big pan in it. And I used it 25 times in the last two months. Unfortunately, I did not finish this blush, but it is so close. You can see there's some hard pan here. And I'll probably have to... Well, I will have to do something about that. I'm gonna try just putting some scotch tape on there and see if that peels it off. But um, I did just roll this blush into my The Office project pan. So this palette's definitely not going anywhere. I think I can finish this probably within the next week. So I will be rolling something in um, to replace this, but I'll update you on this for my next update. The next four products are Collecting Cobwebs. And the first one is my Pixie by Petra Liquid Lipstick. And I have this shade Really Rose. I am wearing this today. And when I take this, the applicator out. There's not very much product in here. So I think I'm going to remove the stopper in this quite soon, but I only used this 10 times in the last two months, months, which is kind of disappointing to me. How I've been using this is I will apply another lip product that I'm panning in the morning. And then when that one wears off, then I'll apply this one when I'm like at work or, you know, on my lunch break or something. So I haven't really been prioritizing this. But hopefully I'll get some more use out of it. And my goal is to finish. We'll see how long that takes me. The next item I've been working on is my Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc from It Cosmetics. And I'm working on the bronzer in this. This is what it looked like when I rolled it in. There was a pan and my goal is to finish this as well. I was able to use this 43 times in the past couple of months and mainly I use this in my eyebrows. So that's what's in my eyebrows today. And I also have it as a contour, but it's pretty, 
it's pretty pigmented and so I have to be really careful if I do use it as a contour. So I mainly focused on this as an eyebrow powder and this is what it's looking like after 43 uses. Definitely have expanded the pan and I've also hit side pan, which is super exciting. Uh, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to finish this by the finale. It's a little slower moving, but I feel like there is quite a bit of progress. There's just a lot of product in here. The next item is my Paula's Choice Wrinkle Defense Tinted Sunscreen. And I rolled it, this in to finish as well. This is what it was looking like last month. And it was basically brand new, but it's a sample. So I figured I could get it done by this update. And I did empty this after 12 uses. I really do enjoy this SPF. I love that it's tinted, but I still do put foundation over it. The last item is my Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. I rolled this in to finish this as well. And I think I have a little bit more left in here, but it's like so light. I know for a fact there is a weight change on this because it feels empty, but just product keeps coming out. And I used this 29 times since the intro, which is awesome. I wore this by itself, but I also mixed it in with another foundation that I'm panning. And I would 100% repurchase this. I really enjoy it this foundation and it's so stinking cute because I finished that SPF and I am so close to emptying that blush I'm gonna roll in two new products and they're both collecting cobwebs and the first item is my elf 16 hour camo concealer this is too dark for me and so I feel like the summertime is the perfect time and basically the only time that I will get the most use out of this I still have to mix this with a lighter concealer though to make it work. And this shade is light beige. Let's swatch it. This is a super thick concealer. So hopefully I have something that I can mix into it that is a lighter weight that will kind of help sheer this out. But here it is on my skin. I might be able to use this to cover my blemishes all by itself, but for under the eyes, I like something a little lighter. There's really no indication of where this product is. There is a window right here, but I think that's from just laying on its side in my drawer. I'm going to start storing this upright while I'm working on it so I can really see where the product is. But my goal is to finish this, and I think this is going to take until Halloween for sure. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish it by Halloween, but wish me luck. And then the next item is also for the complexion. This is a sample of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. It has SPF 15 in it, but this thing is so old that I wouldn't rely on that. And this is the shade Light Neutral. Now this also looks too dark for me so I'm gonna have to mix this in to something else and I haven't even opened it like I've never used this before so I'm a little worried about it with my oily skin especially in these hotter months but I really want it out of my collection so my goal is to empty it here it is on my <laughs> hand that is not light Okay, that is tan, but I'm just super fair. I'm really happy I joined this project just to keep moving through my collection and getting things that are so old out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, I encourage you to subscribe so I see you in the next video.